Hi, welcome to the Humble Watch Guy watch review channel. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be looking at the new chronoscope watch from the Marlow watch company called the Atlantic. For those of you that know me or have followed my channel will know that I'm a huge Marlow fan for many reasons, but mainly their um, designs are unique. The quality of their watches are superb and they have by far for me the best customer service I've ever experienced. Their care and attention to detail is incredible. Now I was going to be doing an unboxing video for this watch but excitement got the better of me and I just went for it. I opened the box. However I think what I tried to do was to capture the um, unboxing experience for you now by saving the box and having a quick look at it. Now how often have you received the plain cardboard box through the post or your delivery company piles of tape all over it you have to try and find some scissors to get into it find a knife to cut through the tape and then open the box it takes forever well Marlo have thought of these things so when you receive the box this is the box comes with the Marlo logo on top a nice little compass design on the end Atlantic chronoscope on the back Further pictures, Atlantic Chronoscope. As you see, no tape. Well, Milo thought of that. They put this strip on the front here. And you see this. Now this strip says hello on the end here, tempting you into there. Pull the strip, the box is open. No knives, no mess. When you lift the lid, you'll see it says east to west, west to east. That's relevant when you Hear the story of the watch. Open it further, you'll see on the lid, the Atlantic, and a quote there from Gordon and Oliver, the owners, founders of Marlow Watch Company, further tempting you into, into the box. When we lift it further, lift the lid, open it up, you'll see, yet again, not just a plain box, a picture of the R34 airship, Again, that becomes relevant later in the watch, uh, in the review. Look inside, you've got some lovely recyclable packaging. Everything about this box is recyclable. And inside you've now got the now synonymous Marlow watch box, which we'll cover in a moment. So as you can see there, a lot of attention to detail in the packaging, the way the packaging is opened. And that's the first layer of the experience. All those little levels are building layers of enjoyment when you're opening the watch or opening the box. However, all of that is only relevant if the watch is worth it, if it's what you expected. So we'll have a look at this in a moment. We'll turn the camera around and we'll look at the watch itself. Will it be, will it disappoint? Will it just hit the spot? Or will it be beyond your expectations? Let's turn the camera around and have a look inside that lovely box. Okay, so now I've taken the box out of that beautiful packaging. And let's have a look, see what you get. So you get this lovely textured box, which has now been standardized right across the Marlow range. And the first thing that hits me was it's quite big. It's a big, big box. And why does it need to be that big? Well, let's go back to Marlowe's ethos of the unboxing experience. We'll see that the Marlowe has got the Marlowe watch company embossed on the top there of a lovely textured box. And when we remove the lid, we see a beautiful, beautiful booklet, a thick booklet with wonderful photographs lots of information in this booklet about the watch and the history of the watch absolutely stunning detail in there from Marlowe I don't think I've ever come across a watch brand which offers so much information such a beautiful booklet detailing the history and the specifics of the watch itself again attention to detail beneath that you see we've got this tray and in this tray is a beautiful card, very thick card, very thick card, again here for a reason. 
you see it's got the Marlowe emblem embossed on there and it shows you that mine is serial number 10 first edition number 10 of the Atlantic if I turn that card over you will see it provides an awful lot of detail with regards to the movement the diameter the depth of the watch and the functions of the watch now Marlowe could have just put this inside the box they could have just left it loose in the box but no that wouldn't have been enough you see here on the lid of this box here there's a nice recessed section that the card slots into beautifully keeps it all safe it's that attention to detail which I love about the Marlowe watch company easy to remove you've got that little indent there so a lovely little touch there from Marlowe showing the information on the watch attention to detail fantastic if we turn this around you'll see another little reveal a little tag there a little patch leather patch on the back of the box which says beyond expectation again another level of enjoyment lovely hessian type finish and nice leather pouch that's all before you get to the watch itself we then get to the watch itself you've got a lovely box with the same hessian covering in there and the cushion again with the same finish let me take the watch off that and take the box out of the way so we can have a look and then you get this beautiful watch itself it's coming closer on that and there you see the beautiful beautiful Marlowe Atlantic chronoscope chronograph watch coming a touch closer here we go I knew this watch was going to be gorgeous I never expected it to be this beautiful this gorgeous it's absolutely stunning stunning looking watch so let's have a look at the detail of that the specifications what we've got here is a 43 millimeter diameter watch it's 15 millimeters deep 22 mil lug width 50 millimeter lug to lug it has both a polished and a brushed effect case which is a bespoke case designed by Marlowe sapphire crystal with AR coating has a multi-layered textured dial that has these aero sword effect profile hands it has a quick set date complication and that's the date set at the 430 position very similar there to the Breitling Navitimer the weight on this watch is 117.3 grams so it's a very heavy robust watch and it's 100 meters water resistance the movement on this watch is the amazing the simply awesome Seiko NE88A automatic movement which is Seiko's flagship mechanical movement this beats at 28,800 beats per hour it has 34 joules has a hand winding capability has a 45 hour plus power reserve the stated tolerances on this one are minus 15 to plus 25 seconds per day it has a hacking function it has a dire shock anti-shock system and it has a 12 hour chrono function if I turn this box over now let's have a quick look at the back it's a beautiful case design absolutely stunning and you'll see on the back there that it's a, an exhibition case back now cleverly that crystal in the center there is slightly magnified 
and also domed. Now, again, that replicates part of what they're trying to do on this design ethic, which I think is very, very successful. It replicates the look of an eye, the eyeglass on the bomb site for the R-34 airship and also, I suppose, a telescope. Lovely little touch there. You can see the rotor has the Cote de Genève fluting on it. Around the edge of the watch here, you'll see it says the, maybe can't pick it up just there. Let me have a look, Let's see if I can get a bit closer. It says Marlowe Watch Company. Uh, it gives a serial number, the um, mine serial number 10. It says special edition number 10. Not really picking it up too well in this light. I'm afraid, apologies for that. But a beautiful case back, absolutely beautiful case back. The strap itself, you see is a stunning leather strap, quick release strap, which is a lovely touch. The strap itself reminds me of um, a flying jacket with that effect on it, which again fits in with the, uh, the, the design inspiration of this watch. Two keepers, one floating, one fixed, and that stunning buckle. Stunning buckle there, absolutely beautiful with the Marlowe logo on the end of it. Beautiful looking watch, absolutely beautiful. So let's talk about the inspiration for this watch. Why does it look like this? Why? What's the relevance of all this airship? Well, it's called the R34, this version. Marlowe do four versions of this watch. This is the R34. They do a black one called the Flyer, a Panda, which is called the Fortune, and a brushed silver one, which is called the Spirit. But this is the R34. And the inspiration for this watch was the R34 airship, which was the first airborne craft to complete a, without incident, um, double crossing of the Atlantic. And do you remember on the box when it says on there, east to west, west to east? Well, that reference is crossing from England to America across the Atlantic and then back again. The multi-layered dial here, you see that beautiful color on this dial, sort of greeny blue. Well, that's relevant too, because I wasn't aware, but I always thought airships were sort of a white or silvery gray color. But in fact, the R34 airship was in fact this color. It was this greeny blue color. One thing that Gordon Fraser, Marlowe's designer, does is research everything so deeply. And he identified this color, having visited the museum, and um, used that color on the dial, which is a beautiful design touch. The quilted effect is to replicate the material of the, the airship. And I think that's stunning. Absolutely beautiful. The two centre dials, sub-dials, are sunken with a nice ringed pattern in there, which you can't really pick up on here. Let me see if I can come in a touch. Um, no, you can't really pick it up there, but they've got rings that run around them, which are beautiful. And so they're sunken. Then you've got the textured base dial, and then you have the raised chapter ring. Very, very detailed dial here. Very detailed, but very beautiful. The pushes on the side of this, I don't know whether you can see here. Let me just move those around. The pushes have got like a spiraled effect on the end. You can't really pick it up here. Let me just move that around, see if I can see it. But the idea behind those spiraling effect on the end of the pushes there, that replicates the effect that you get when you, when a propeller is spinning. It's a lovely little touch there. Once again, from Gordon, the designer, you see on the crown there, you've got the engraved Marlowe logo. 
the stabilize uh, the lugs on this watch are designed to resemble the stabilizers on an airship again attention to detail not just there for the sake of it the state the lugs there are polished on the top and brushed on the sides beautiful brushing effect on this against the polish of the case back and the bezel absolutely lovely the attention to detail is incredible my one on uh, my particular model this one i've had it a week now i've been wearing it for a week and this accuracy is running at plus one second per day absolutely incredible for a watch of any price but for this watch which retails at 975 pounds with a seiko any 88 movement running at plus one second a day i'm delighted with that absolutely delighted it's an absolutely stunning watch and you remember i said at the when i opened the outer packaging and i said that's all very well having gorgeous packaging but the watch has got to live up to that and i asked three things does it disappoint well the answer to that is clearly no it certainly doesn't disappoint far from it does it just hit the spot no it doesn't just hit the spot this goes far beyond that and the last part does it go beyond your expectations and i would say clearly marlowe's motto of beyond expectation is very very true this is my 10th marlowe watch and what keeps me coming back is their attention to detail the quality of the watches the design ethic this for me is a step up on Marlow, uh, even on their normal quality, I think this is a step up. It's absolutely beautiful. Build quality, movement, design, feel, absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful watch, which far exceeded my expectations. I'll put it on my wrist and let you give you a wrist shot so that you can see because I was concerned when I bought this that 43 millimeter with a 50 mil lug to lug and a 15 millimeter depth would be too big for my six and a half inch wrists. I was surprised it wears incredibly well, incredibly well. I'll pop it on and give you a wrist shot so you can see. So there you have it, my review of the Marlowe Atlantic R34 Chronoscope. Simply amazing watch, superb quality. If you like this video review, please hit that subscribe button and maybe the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload more video reviews. But for now, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe.